Obviously, this is not the update that I wanted to give to everyone. A family's worst nightmare realized. The sheriff says his team believes they found the body of Mia Marcano. Tonight, her family speaks out on the tragic end to the search for the missing teen. 19 years old, she had the whole rest of her life ahead of her. We are following breaking news tonight. Sheriff John Mina says his office has located what they believe to be the body of Mia Marcano. He says he and his team are heartbroken that this is the results of their eight day search. The body was found on the property of the Timberscan Apartments that's just off of Texas Avenue in Orlando, about 20 miles from Mia's apartment where she was last seen. Her family and the community have been holding vigils at the Arden Villas, praying for her to be brought back home. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi spoke with them there tonight. The emotions were raw and powerful. It was hard not to get emotional as family laid down flowers in Mia's honor. The vigil starting just a few hours after they learned of her death. The tearful emotions visible on the faces of Mia Marcano's family. Those who stood strong this week, now supported by family once again. She was 19 years old. She had a, the whole rest of her life ahead of her. The family and friends of the 19 year old sharing prayer and honoring Mia's life one last time in front of her apartment window at Arden Villas. Her family learning of her death just hours before. I can't even put into words how we're feeling right now as a family. I feel defeated. I feel like I failed my cousin. And I don't know how we're going to get through this. Deputies discovered what they believe to be Mia's body near the timber scan condominiums. Overgrown fields, trash, and abandoned buildings line the area where she was found. Sheriff John Mina says their main and only suspect, the now deceased 27 year old Armando Caballero's cell phone, pinged in the area between 8 and 9 p.m. the night Mia disappeared. Hands, and Lord, you grant us our prayer. Even though you did not give us Mia the way we wanted her, we are grateful. During the week, dozens of Mia's family members flew in from as far as Canada and the Caribbean to help in their search. Even as their search reached a week long, they never gave up hope that they would find her alive. This tragic end, not what they ever expected. Mia, we love you. And we will always love you. This is not goodbye. This is see you later. We love you, Mia. The family isn't sure what's next at this moment. All they know is they won't be heading to South Florida without Mia. In Orlando, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Sheriff Mina says his team tracked Caballero's movements leading up to his death from county to county to county, hoping to find any lead to get clues for, to find Mia. Now he says the whole operations center spent more than a week breaking down every piece of information. And Fox 35's Matt Treza explains the process of that investigation. Delivering the tragic news about finding a body likely to be Mia Mercano's, Sheriff John Mina gave more details about how they got to this point. So why were we at Timberscan Apartments? Mina says they were electronically tracing the movements of Armando Caballero, their prime suspect. Uh, cell phone records uh, showed us that Caballero was in or near the Timberscan Apartments on Friday evening between 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, that's the evening that she was reported missing. He says they'd combed through months of Caballero's electronic records to follow his steps. He had been in downtown Orlando. He had been in the Paramore area. Obviously, he'd been in both uh, Orange County near the apartment complex, uh, at the other apartment complex in Seminole County, and of course, uh, Volusia County. And Mina says Caballero had a connection to the apartment complex. He had lived uh, in timber scan apartments at one time. He says search teams located the body and more evidence. They're walking in, and found um, uh, what we believe to be her body. Uh, a purse with Mia's identification was found near the body as well. Sheriff Mina said this isn't the end of their investigation, though. The next steps are to conduct an autopsy on the body they found and come up with a definitive timeline of the events leading up to Mia's death. In Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News. A great deal of information has been uncovered in the extensive search to find Mia. Let's take a look now at the timeline of events this past week. The search for Mia comes to a tragic end. It all started one week ago.
At 4.30 p.m. last Friday, at the Arden Villas Apartments where Mia lived and worked, deputies believe Armando Caballero, a maintenance worker at the complex, used a master key fob to enter her apartment. Later that night, Mia missed her flight home to Fort Lauderdale, and with no contact from her, family drove up to see what was wrong. On Saturday, Mia's aunt had a brief yet disturbing interaction with Caballero, who at the time wasn't a known suspect. He said, are you looking for Mia? I said, who are you? He said, I'm the maintenance guy. I heard you're looking for me. That same morning, this video surfaced of a man who matched Caballero's description getting out of a car identified by deputies as Caballero's vehicle. Families say that blanket in his hand is Mia's. Sunday was the first of many vigils held for Mia, and on Monday, a big development with Caballero. We found a suicide um, on property. Someone hung themselves from a garage. Deputies rushed to the Sable Club apartments for an apparent suicide, only to find his body. By Wednesday, the search for Mia intensified with investigators and family members at Arden Villas, Blanchard Park, and Lake Monroe. On Thursday, the search expanded to New Smyrna Beach after family told us a cell phone belonging to Caballero pinged in that area. That brings us to a sad end when deputies finally found the body in the Timberscan Apartments area in Orlando. And also breaking tonight, we are learning the residents of Mia's apartment complex, Arden Villas, issued a list of demands for the complex. They include that any resident should be allowed to break their lease. They also want all rent collected from the leasing term to be returned. They also want an updated policy on entering apartments and security upgrades like installing cameras. We are working to get a response from the apartment complex. And Fox 35 uncovered more details that could be related to this case. Another woman claims that she may have had an incident with Caballero. We have new body camera video from the incident, which happened back in March. There's a, a weight that was thrown into the window. She doesn't know who. The woman says a maintenance worker named Armando threw a dumbbell through her window. Police believe it was Armando Caballero. Police say both women rejected his romantic advances. The Mercano family gave us a glimpse of the type of person that Mia was. Loved ones remember Mia as a shining light in their family. They say that she was goofy, funny, and very family-oriented and full of love. The family says this week has been extremely difficult. It's heart-wrenching. It's heartbreaking. This is, this is our baby. She's funny. She's goofy. She's silly. She's very, very family-oriented. She loves her family, and her family loves her back. Tonight, the family is still working to put together final plans for Mia.